How much of an impact could this latest strike have on UK supply chains already hit by the pandemic and Brexit? Well, Dr. Kamran Marouf is an associate professor in supply chain analytics at the University of Bradford. Thanks for joining us. Um, look, in terms of what all this means, first of all, for, for consumers, for you and me, is this going to mean empty supermarket shelves? Thank you for having me on. Um, I think what we've really got to be mindful of is how long this current situation in Felix still plays out. Um, if we are able to contain the situation within these eight days, then I don't see the impact being as significant as maybe we have been reading in some of the press articles. However, if it extends past these 80 days, that's where there will be significant disruption. Um, we are entering a peak season, as they say, you know, Halloween, Black Friday, Christmas stock, all tends to come in at this time of the year. And further to what the reporter was mentioning just prior to uh, me coming on air, um, we've just got to be mindful of how Felix Store plays out because if they're not able to reach an agreement here, there might be other ports that might be disrupted with similar action. And in this current context, we, we of course have left. on imports of fresh produce, then we could be in, in for a gloomy period going forward. From hauliers to retailers, what's this strike action going to mean for businesses, that their costs and how they operate, uh, but or, not just now, but, but in the longer term? I know you've said this depends on how long this strike goes on for, but are businesses already thinking about rerouting and what that's going to mean? Really good question. I think often when it comes to certain actions in the supply chain, we, we focus on the customers and the consumers, right? But, the, you know, the network of the supply chain is, is extensive. Home years are now, unfortunately, will be for the next eight days anyhow, waiting, literally not doing anything. So it's going to have an impact on their livelihood. They're also going through a cost of living crisis, fuel prices and everything else. So there's a significant impact there. And we've seen similar situations in Felix in the past, in fact, I believe it was six months ago where there wasn't enough HGV drivers, so there was diversions taking place. So a lot of smaller ports were then receiving goods via um, Antwerp, um, Rotterdam, and so on and so forth. But again, this all has a knock-on effect. It, 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 it means costs, it means time implications, and often that cost is passed on to the customer. You mentioned that it's peak season for, for the movement of consumer goods in the run-up to Halloween, Black Friday, Christmas. Um, this is a really critical time, isn't it, to disrupt operations? Absolutely. I mean, if there was a time, let's look at it from the other side, right? If there was a time to make your, your argument be profound, now would be the time because there is so much reliance on goods coming to our shores, preparing that for, you know, that's how supply chains work, preparing that for months in advance. So if there was a time to do the strikes, then I would, I would certainly pick this if I was on that team. Dr. Cameron Marouf um, at the University of Bradford, thank you very much for those insights.